so off with this bait and we're gonna go with a different one which bait are we gonna try next I've got a couple I want to try they are completely different color not even close to this color I want to try this mirror lure um, it's salt and pepper chartreuse tail so that ought to be a, a culture shot I should three inch three inch ones but it's the only way we're gonna learn you know do a proper test do it in the same day in the same circumstances and have a wildly different looking bait that is totally different from what we're fishing with so it may not work we may not run across anymore I've found that to be so true out here in this marsh you do so good and you turn the corner and it's like it turns off where'd the fish go there is no fish so but I found that other places as well you don't it's fishing that's that's all fishing guys this is a skinny little puny puny bait I can tell you that they they didn't keep their same mold or whatever they're tough tough little rascals I can say and say that about it and I think I might have hooked it up well, no, I don't think it's backwards. Anyway, let's see what it looked like. Yeah, it don't wiggle that tail as much as I like it. I'm going to tell you that right now. It doesn't make that, that, that little, that long skinny tail on that, on that chicken of the sea, or, or on all of the down south lures, they have a, that long skinny tail that I think gives some really good action. All right, where are you at, fish? There's one up there. Oh, wow. About 100 yards up, there's one. He's definitely a keeper. I can see him from here. Just saw something here. Um, all right, guys, but I'm going to cut the film so I know where this is at to, to edit, and I'll turn it right back on, and we'll see what we can do. guys I don't know if that's a great test or not but I I had trouble getting it in front of his face um, the wind blowing harder than it looks on the camera and so it wants to swing stuff over and get it out of I don't know I, I like to make excuses when I fail to perform <laughs> I uh, want you guys to think I can cast real good. And I, I cast fair. I never, never was real good at casting. Perfect. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. You wait your turn. You wait your turn. Alright guys, so this is first one on this particular bait. I done forgot what it is. Salt and pepper, I think. Um, and it wasn't long. You can see where the sun's at now. So that kind of gives you a, a guide of how long I've been here. Probably about 10 minutes since I put the bait on. And I don't know. It's 
I I know he's gonna go in the box, I know that. He's good good twenty-one and a half. <laughs> Alright guys. But anyway, so this is what we're doing. We're I think that's pretty awesome myself. Now I thought it swam by it a couple of times. I thought that it should have seen it. But, you know, I don't know what it was looking at. Maybe it was looking the other way. But it finally did grab it when I got it just right in front of its face. So. Whoa. All right. Well, so salt and pepper is doing some doing some work um, I don't know I don't know I just I'm still a little con I mean it, it if you pull it enough it the tail seems to work but anyway we'll see in a bit all right guys Salt and pepper. Is he gonna hang on to it? I was looking the other way. And, uh, he's gonna run. He's gonna run. He's a he's a good one. Oh gosh, that's a good one right there. Turn the board so everybody can see. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, guys. Salt and pepper strikes again. What's that number two? I lose track. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's number two. You guys, y'all can correct me. I'll know when I edit. Uh, I've been paddling a little while. Whoa, you cannot. This. Come on back this way. Come on, come on. He's a, he's a good one. Wow. Yeah. I've been at it a little while, probably, I'd say, 30 minutes. Whoa, there was a, I had one spook a while ago when I was about where that one there just took off. And I heard something behind me. I was pointed the other way, and I turned around, and then I saw this rascal. And I didn't throw that close to this one. This one actually ran over and got it a little bit, I think. So... I'm gonna say salt and pepper <laughs> might just be the thing. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, that that's not really what we're after, right? Our myth busting is there is no such thing. Our myth busting thing is put it in front of their face, and most of the time they will eat it. And uh, so. That, that rascal's a huge fish, guys. I, he may be an over, over slot. I am not going to not gonna lie about that. He's, he's pretty big. But anyway, as I was saying, I, I've been here a little while, and it's I just didn't find nothing to throw at. I got back to the main, main area where y'all, to you, it was just a couple of minutes, but you know where I was looking into the sun and now look how high the sun is I mean that's an hour later maybe maybe an hour I don't know maybe it wasn't I dumped the card it was 20 something minutes and that's been maybe five six minutes ago all right get on this board guy you are a nice nice fish let's get your nose where your nose is supposed to be Oh, he's he's not oversized. He's bigger than we're gonna take though. 27 inches. Wow, that is a, that's something. Say what you doing? I know, I know I'm acting like not just right, but let's get this guy laid up here too. We gotta present this rascal as a pretty picture. <laughs> These guys that sell this board might want to sponsor me or something. Never know. But I wanted a picture with salt and pepper. 
uh, in his mouth. So guys, you're gonna go for a little fly. I'm taking you off my head. And hopefully, if I can spin this thing a little bit, get that shadow up fuzzy. All right, well, I don't know what it looks like, but yes, we'll know when we get home. But 27 inches. Well, that's nice. It just ain't helping out my count, but I already have two, so I'm not I'm not worried. We're not going hungry this week. We're not gonna have to just live off of, off of beans. All right, he kind of pulled it back or something a little bit, but I, th I kind of like it back a little bit because it, maybe it'll wobble a little better. I ain't a big fan of how how they're shaped. I kind of wish they were shaped more more like a normal one. All right, guy. I, I'm gonna get you back in the water so you can try to find some 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 ground to, to hide in. <laughs> oh, guys, that's well a 27 inch, and he found some water. But this is a ditch that kind of come off that main body again, and it got deeper. But where that main body is out there, I'm just dragging through the mud. So you know when this board is dragging, I mean it's just just a couple of inches. I mean, so anyway, I uh, so what is my thoughts upon salt and pepper so far? That's that I think is number two. Man, yeah, I don't recall catching nothing else other than that last one there. All right, because there was nothing else to throw at. That's right, I was backtracking the whole time. I spooked a couple in front of me, and I throwed at them, but that don't count. Once they're spooked and you're throwing at them, that's always a gamble whether they're going to want to do anything or not. But that ditch ran out right there. Well, I guess that's another thing. Just you find dead-end ditches, go up them. All right, let's move to the next one. I shook my head around too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah guys. They are I almost passed this up. Look at this. This is not much of a hole and I was big ditches going that way and I kind of glanced up here and I, I spotted something bust the water and I said well let's go check it out. <laughs> oh well I picked out the littlest one out of 300 fish. <laughs> Oh yeah, well guys, let me just look at this. I don't normally do this. 10.34. Well, that's how long I've been at it. I'm ashamed at, at how long it's been since the last fish. But it is what it is. It's not the bait's fault. It's just they weren't they weren't where I was at. You know they you can't catch fish where there's no fish. I paddled for a mile I know and not seen a fish. And I decided to go up here and anyway, this guy is not gonna be number three I don't think. He's not, he's not a tiny one, but let's just see what you are, guy. See what you are. Get your nose. Where's the nose supposed to be? Yeah, see, he's a respectable fish. He's 19 and three quarter. But there was some beggings in the bunch, but there you go. There was some big ones in the bunch. But I couldn't pick. I couldn't pick. I couldn't. I, there was just too many. I just said, well, I'm going to throw out there in the middle of all of it. First one I came into this little pocket, I just seen one. I said, oh, well, there's a good one. And then all of a sudden, it was like, oh, wait a minute. There's, there's three, four, five. 
well I would say this is gonna be part one I actually I might even cut it before this so this might not make any sense to you what I'm gonna say but I don't know how much how how much is on there but I can see where this is gonna be an ongoing series that I just want to thank y'all guys for coming out and I'm gonna say salt and pepper uh, was that mirror lure I don't forgot it's 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 in the film guys but uh, that's a funny looking little old bait though guys I'm I guess it's okay uh, it's just flat flat kind of thing but anyway it's good in theory I guess it worked hey that's three fish on it so we we introduced two new baits today I know I'm just talking 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 all right guys just stay tuned for uh, part two we've got a couple of other colors that I have picked out and um, anyway I just want to thank y'all again for coming out I want to say God bless and we will see y'all next time.